In this exercise, we're going to use DNR GPS to download your GPS device uh, and get your tracks and waypoints and save them to the GPX file format. DNR GPS works with most all Garmin GPS units, and that's what we'll be using for this exercise. Um, otherwise, read your manual for your specific type of GPS so that you can download that and convert it to a GPX file. So in this case, uh, we've connected a Garmin 60 CSX uh, using a USB cable to between the GPS and the computer. Um, if you have a different kind of cable, you can have a serial cable or you might even need an adapter uh, USB to serial adapter to put in between your GPS unit because uh, a lot of computers nowadays only have USB connections and don't have serial ports. So with the cable connected uh, you turn on the unit and uh, you hear a little beep there as it uh, powers up. Um, most Garmin's, uh, most newer Garmin's uh, automatically look for a connection. Older ones you actually have to um, go to setup and go to interface and tell it uh, to look for a connection. But with the Garmin 60 and newer ones, as I said, you don't have to do that. So next, um, go to GPS drop down and uh, find GPS. This will scan all the ports and look for the GPS connection. And notice that the Garmin GPS 60 CSX software comes up uh, and with the version number of the, uh, of the uh, hardware. And so now we want to download all of the tracks and waypoints. So you next go to GPS again and download all and it just tells you, depending on the number of tracks you have, uh, will determine the time it takes to download. Um, we're still waiting. Definitely taking a while here. Hmm. Okay, we won't worry about the error message. Downloads complete. And notice we had 878 track points and 21 waypoints. Now the next thing you need to be aware of is it will download all of your active track log and all of your saved uh, previous track logs that are on internal on the unit's internal memory. So notice here 3rd of August of 2011 and uh, but if you go down scrolling down we get down to the active track log so for a SAR, you're only going to want the active track log, that is, the, that day, that specific day's track log that you searched. So what you're going to want to do is either highlight and delete all previous tracks or highlight and only save your active track. So in this case, we're going to highlight uh, the last of the dated track logs, uh, the first one, and we go to the top and then hold down the shift key and click here and then it highlights all of your non-active track logs. And then you just hit delete 
And so now you only have your active track log, that day's track log. And then we go to File, Save To, and you want to save to a file to save it to GPX format. And you navigate, you navigate to Mapsar. to your incident folder, to your incident data, and to GPS in. And you make sure you're in GPX format, save as type. You have a number of choices here. And then you name it with the date, 2012-03-01. Danny Sar. It's a track log from a GPS, so you put GPS track and then save. Oh, and your team. So team or the person uh, who actually collected the data. And then you save it as tracks. Hit OK, and it's successfully saved. Then you do the same thing with waypoints. Now, you only want to save the waypoints from that day. So let's say that this is the first waypoint from that day, and those are the only ones uh, you collected from the operation. And again, save to, file, and you're still in the same GPS in folder. And so you can speed things up a little bit here. And then you change track to waypoint. And again, hit save. And designate them as waypoints. And that's it.